A Moo community member who goes by the name Mr. Super Ultimate has submitted me a demo to his upcoming project called X-Men vs. Dogstalkers. Now, out of all the projects I've seen on YouTube and on Mugen's Fighters Guild, it's rare to see a crossover that involves Dalt Stalkers versus seeing another fighting game franchise, and to be honest, at first I didn't know how to feel about this since I'm not really a big fan of Dalt Stalkers, but I digress. Before I start um, the demo, I can really say that I love the promotional flyer for this project, and I think that a comic book panel promotion is always welcome to Mugen projects. Since it's been a while, and I'm not really an expert on giving a thorough impression on fighting games, I figured that I would begin with the basics, which is the title screen. I noticed that the promotional art is used to scroll um, in the background, but for some strange reason, the pilot seems to not have been converted properly into Mugen. But what's more important is the character selection. Since I am not too familiar with Dollstarker's cast, I've seen this as an opportunity uh, to see what they had to offer in terms of gameplay. Now. I'm not too sure if this is going to be the final roster since this is only a demo and things could likely change within the next update, but right here there are a total of 12 characters, 6 on both sides respectively, and on the X-Men side we have 4 familiar characters who have reoccurred their spots in many fighting games, but that leaves the other 2 X-Men characters which are Morph, Morph uh, created by Anvil Magus and Jubilee by Chimaru and team. So I know that there will be at least some fresh and unfamiliar gameplay styles for me to pretty much get my hands on. Now, on to gameplay. This is really, I really, really, really want to talk about. I'm not too sure if X-Men vs. Dollstarkers is a ground up project with its own custom gameplay mechanics and these are just placeholders or just simply a compilation game comprised of just X-Men and Dollstarkers characters. Um, this game inherits the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, kind of gameplay with traditional high jumps and air combos. I'm not sure, but before I started recording gameplay, uh, Jubilee had dropped an Infinity Stone when I attacked her. Not too sure if Infinity Stones will play a major part in this project, uh, project's gameplay, or it's just simply something that was forgotten to be removed from the character itself. Then we have Wolverine, Gambit, and Magneto, and I believe uh, it was created by Kong since the author name is the character's name. Um, my major gripe with the demo is the fact is that the sprites from some of the Dollstarkers characters aren't sized evenly um, to match at least the X-Men counterparts, especially when you compare Dimitri to Magneto. The other issue is the health bars and the character portraits. The pilots um, didn't convert to moving properly, and the colors look kind of distorted. And then you have the AI with um, most of the Dollstarker characters, which aren't as aggressive um, as the Marvel characters, which is um, kind of a bummer. And then you have the Versus screen and its sprites, which um, need some adjustments as well, but there's nothing else more to add to my first impressions of the game right now since it's only a demo that still needs a ton of tuning, and if it's going to be a project and not just a compilation, then I'm looking forward to see what gameplay mechanics is going to be created for this game. Um, what advice would you give um, to Mr. Super Ultimate? And if you are um, a creator or a moving YouTuber, and you would like for me to give you know give a try to some of your projects or even your compilations, then feel free to email me at moogenlord at hotmail uh, dot com, or you can leave me a message at my Moogan TV, which is in the link in the description below. And um, that wraps everything up. This is Moogan Lord signing off.